Hi, friends. Hey, you ready to take off today? Yeah, where are we going? Chloride, Arizona. Chloride? Where's Chloride? Oh, about 80 miles south of Las Vegas. Oh, why don't we just go to Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> well, we might do that, too. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to stop in Chloride and see our friends Mike and Barbara. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. All righty. Bye. Let's go. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We're west out of Williams, Arizona on I-40, heading towards Kingman, where we're going to turn north and go about 30 miles towards Las Vegas. Chloride, Arizona. Interesting little town, old mining town. Well, this is our turn for Chloride, Arizona. This town was founded in the 1860s when silver was discovered in the Surbat Mountains. You're going to see those mountains ahead as we turn the corner here. Silver mining was the biggest business in the area with more than 70 working mines during the mining days. And about 2,000 people lived in Chloride at that time. The town had a bank, hotels, a pool hall, barber shops, restaurants, and saloons. Don't expect to see any of that today. I think the population is currently about 352. And we know two of them, Mike and Barbara, who just bought some property here. A house and uh, we're gonna stop and see their new home for the first time just went over a cattle guard I don't know if that's to keep the cows in town or to keep the cows out of town RV park here coming up on the left I won't need to stay there. Mike says that I can park right behind his house. So that'll be convenient for visiting. I've been to this town before, and I think that the main activity in this town is collecting old junk and putting it in your front yard. Seems like that's what everybody does anyway. A lot of old buildings here. There's an old gas station there on the left. Not pumping gas anymore. Little did they know how profitable that was going to be in 2022. Yeah, we're getting to downtown Chloride. Mike's property is over there on the left with that green fence. And then across the street from him, I thought it's the post office. This is the main intersection in Chloride, Arizona. Well, I went in and talked to Mike and checked out where I'm going to park. He gave me directions. I'm not going to need my GPS. The directions are go to the stop sign, turn left. By the way, every once in a while you see my wipers go. That's what you see go across the screen. I have a short in my smart wheel and it turns the wipers on in a Mid intermittently. That's the post office there on the right. And that's Mike's RV on the left. And all of this property along here on the left is Mike's. It's like two houses. And then there's a shed thing there in the corner. And we're going to park right back here on the back street. You can see over there on the right what I was talking about, people collecting and putting junk in their front yard. I swear it's a hobby here. So I'm going to park right here on the gravel. And uh, the blue car is in Mike's driveway, but that next house, that's not his. He said that one's for sale. There's Mike. I've known Mike for about five years. 
Uh, we're talking about whether or not I should actually park here because I'm blocking the view of the stop sign, but it's a dead end down there at the end of the dirt road. And I think everybody that lives there already knows there's a stop sign and it's a dead end, a half a block to the left at the stop sign. So not like there's going to be a lot of traffic. Well, maybe over there. No, I'm going to stay right where I'm at. This purple cactus, I took a picture of it two years ago and admired it. Little did I know, our friends Mike and Barbara were going to buy the whole half a block. And that we'd come and, and we'd get to come and visit. Lynn wanted to go for a ride this morning and we saw some deer right here in town. Where are you going? Oh, Lynn wanted to have her picture taken with the Joshua tree. There we go. That's a big one. Ooh, look at all of this stuff. Oh, let's just turn around and get a better look at it. Another place in Chloride, Arizona, Aerial Tramway, Chloride to Rainbow Mine. Wow. Oh, yeah, there's the scales. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that a Libra, like me, ought to pay attention to. He got a lot of stuff. Ooh, big old, big old, big old mining stuff. You like that purple thing, do you? Yes, I do. What, a, is, what is it? It's a purple people eater. Oh, a purple people. It was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. We wear short shorts. Oh, yeah, another guy standing in the bushes. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. There's a Martian. Never a lack of things yeah, to look, look at. Look at the flamingo. Um, flamingo. Right there. I'm guessing peacock. No, it's a flamingo. Okay, you say so. Oh, and then there's a guy here. Oh, yeah, with a hat. Look at the size of that one. That's the Joshua tree you wanted to have a picture with, yes, right? Yes, it is. Do you? Not to get not, in and out again. Not today, huh? This is Steve. Let's see if we can go figure out why there's a sailboat in the desert. This is a boat that Steve built. Yep, I built it. And uh, he built it in Oregon. And then for some crazy idea, he decided he's going to go sailing, that's a mast, in Arizona. No, I moved to Arizona because I, didn't, I couldn't find a place in Oregon to live. <laughs> what a project. Well, you just never know what you're going to see out here in the desert in chloride. Cute little teardrop trailer there. Uh, and we're on our way back into chloride. It's a few miles from here. Arizona sunset reflected in my RV. Chloride. Arizona. Mike and Barbara have only had possession of this house for nine days before we got here, and 
We have a project this morning. We're cleaning out stuff. The people who they bought it from left almost everything they owned. Um, he's got enough tools to start a Home Depot. But this over here, it's not a real door. It's a no. real door on the outside. <laughs> just need a, need a hole in the wall. Yes. Are you sure it doesn't open? It's I am hinges? positive it doesn't open. Well, there's a screw there. Screw there. It just, oh, I think yeah. it just opens into nothing. And what's this? This uh, looks like a, oh, it's a coffee urn. Oh, it's made yeah. into a coffee urn. Old uh, milk jug or something. Yeah. This is kind of uh, cool. This was hanging on the, on hanging. Yeah, we get you a couple oxen, they'll come in handy. I think so. Yeah. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to try to take, take down the part of the wall so you can build back, build the wall back up. Well, her idea, yeah. Take all this down. Did you find your square bits? Yeah, I found one. I got one. Okay. I got two, actually. It's that. It's mine real quick. That one's square. That one's nothing. It's already gone. You know you're hooked up to one of my microphones, right? <laughs> Jerry, you did the perfect. Yes, it is the right one. Yes, Jerry. That okay. must be my mistake. <laughs> Should I put the pointy ends down just in case we fall off the porch? That's, that might be a, a really good idea. Just uh, Now, everywhere, it, that is the interesting thing about here. It's just been everything. You, you open something, you close something, you find a box, you open yeah. it, and there's some weird antique. And there's some really cool stuff, and there's some junk. What's next, Michael? Um, well, I'm going to ask her about about this wall and see what she wants to do. And if she wants it gone, I guess it's gone. If she wants, I'll suggest the idea you have. So we're digging around here, and Mike found a safe. And we went on the Internet to see how do you open up a Century 1610 safe. So you have to bang this on the, let's try it, Mike. You're gonna bang it on the floor. And what do you think's in there? I'm thinking it's heavy. It's probably gold nuggets. Okay. Huh? It could be. Yeah? Papers? Are you ready? Huh? Okay, let's try go. it. Let's see what happens. Oop. That didn't work. Don't break your tiles. Okay, I know it's supposed to work. I seen the guy do one. Yeah, it, it, we saw it on YouTube. It I worked. Thought, yeah, that's right. Okay. I think it's a. I think it's that, a. I think it's a that. time timing. Oh my God! There it is. What do you got? What is it? What it? Air. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I got it open. <laughs> There's nothing up in the top either. Yeah, I don't think so. Ah. Just a, I'll be darned. Now I wonder if we can reset. No, I think the, if you get a battery for it, there's a way to reset the reset the combination. We got it open. Look at this. It worked. Huh? Just picked it up and dropped it. <laughs> it's empty. It's way empty. to go, way to go, YouTube, huh? Hey, that's awesome. Slick. However, if uh, we can get into it. So can anybody else. <laughs> we probably shouldn't have shown that. <laughs> well, nothing in the safe. Dang. That was our Geraldo Rivera moment. Remember when he opened up the big safe in Chicago and found nothing significant, valuable, or even interesting. <laughs> uh, next video is going to be, I'm taking Lynn for her off-roading experience, which is a rare thing for her. And we're going up a couple of three miles from Chloride to the Roy Purcell murals. Come on back for the ride. Yeah. You know what they called this thing in Jeeps? No. The Oh Jesus Rail.
like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.